best way to learn any technology is to get hands on with it. So in this video, I'm going to start showing you the setup for installing Red Hat on top of which we are going to install Ansible to get started with our Ansible lab. So first of all, I'm using Oracle VirtualBox for virtualization and this I have installed in my Windows operating system. So these are the prerequisites and then you should also have the Red Hat image downloaded on your system. So first of all, let's dis define a VM. Red Hat 8 and then I'll define the specific folder in which I'm going to save this specific VM. Then click next. And with respect to memory, I'm going to give this uh, 2 GB and click next. I'm going to create a hard disk of uh, VirtualBox disk image. Then you can choose uh, either dynamically or fixed size. It is up to you. I'm going with uh, dynamic allocated. And then with respect to size, you can even give it a 10 GB or 15 GB. So from my end, I'm going to give it as 50 GB. Then create a hard disk. After defining this specific VM, I'm going to click on settings system. I'll just verify that the memory is 2 GB RAM and the CPU I'm going to give it as 2 CPU. And with respect to network, I am going to attach this to my bridge adapter, which is going to use my uh, Wi-Fi network to connect to the internet. And then with respect to storage, you can see initially that um, there is no disk image mentioned here. So when, once you click here, you need to define the Red Hat image that you have downloaded, downloaded from Red Hat's website. So if you click on this icon, you can choose the disk image file. So I have already tried this once. So that's the reason it is showing me in this specific list for you. It might not show here. So in that case, you can just uh, choose the disk file. So for now, I'm just selecting the disk image and clicking on OK. And after this, I have to just start the VM. Once I click on start, uh, we will see there is an option asking me for selecting the image again and then I'll start this. And from here, we will get an option to choose the different settings. So I'm going to install Red Hat 8. So I'll now I'll select install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 and then press enter. And with this we will see in a while that the installation will just get started. And the installation has started. I'll just pause this for a while for it to fast forward so that once I get up this specific settings for entering the details, then we'll get started from there. So after a few minutes, you will uh, see that this screen would appear wherein I have to select the language and then click on continue.
and then I'm going to click on installation source. This is already selected and installation destination. I'm going to uh, select the hard disk that we created. Done. Okay. Yes, select. Then. Done. And in order to save memory, I will disable KDump. And then from the network section, I'm going to enable my network interface and define the host name. Click on apply. Then click on done. And uh, with respect to the software selection, you can even uh, select the minimal installation uh, or just the CLI version or if you want GUI. So I'm going with server with GUI. Click on done. And after uh, you have filled in all these details, you will see the begin installation uh, icon is now highlighted and so we'll just begin the installation the installation has started while the installation has started I'm going to define the password for my root account done and if you want you can create uh, another account as well. I'm going to make this user as administrator. Click on done. And now we can see that uh, the installation has begun. So it will take around 15 to 20 minutes for us to proceed with the next set of steps. So I'll just pause for some time and then we'll get back to the screen. Once the installation is complete, you will observe that uh, it will ask you to go ahead and reboot. So we'll just click on reboot. And this time you will observe that uh, the system again is prompting us to reinstall the image. So I would not want that. That's why I will first have to close this. And power off. Now I will have to go to the settings of this VM. Click on system and from here I am going to change the boot order. So instead of uh, booting first from the uh, optical drive, I am going to make sure that it boots from the hard disk. So I am going to move this up. So now it is going to start booting up from the hard disk then i'll click ok and then restart this and this time if you see we are getting the option for starting up our red hat image while the system is booting up uh, let's just wait so after a while you will observe this screen so let's go ahead and accept the license click on done 
and then we are going to finish the configuration with this the system will start uh, let us speed until this boots up again so now let us log in with our root account after logging in we'll get the prompt for uh, genome initial setup so let's go ahead with this click on next select the language next next and then we can skip this part and we are all set to go ahead and start using our red hat you can go to the terminal and we we can see that this is uh, the red hat 8 host name that we have set up initially and i can see this is the ip address assigned from my uh, wireless interface to this specific os so with this we have completed the uh, installation of red hat 8 in the next video we'll cover how to install ansible on red hat 8